Good morning, everybody. I am 16 Bits of True, and we are playing Banished. Starting this in Season 1 of Banished, each season I will be attempting to complete an achievement. Season's 1 achievement will be Mountain Man. Mountain Man... Oh, there we go. There it is. Using a harsh climate and a small mountain map, maintain a population of 50 people for 20 years. So we'll go ahead and get this started. We have mountains, small, harsh. I have disasters on starting hard condition. I think it's a little harder. I prefer to work for what you get instead of just be handed stuff. To show you this isn't a pre-selected map, I'm just going to keep clicking this for a little bit. Alrighty, we got a generated map and we'll call it Edro. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and get this started. Now since we're on a small map, and it's mountainy, we're going to have less usable area. Let's go ahead and pause this, and get our interface set up. Now the way I prefer my interface is, I prefer to have my professions right up here in the top right. My map, I like to have it right under that. My only complaint with this game so far has been moving the interfaces around is a little buggy. For some reason, sometimes it likes to move, sometimes it doesn't. It can be a little annoying. Let's get back to our people so we don't forget where they're at. So I like to have my professions up there, my map right underneath it, my event log I like to have right down here at the bottom of the map. Come on. There it goes. Nice thing about it is once it's set up, you'd never have to do it again. It's just time sometimes getting it set up. Come on. Here we go. And one last, my limits. Hopefully this doesn't take very long, no? Alright, a little longer than I like. <laughs> Here we go, and bam. That's how I like my interface set up. Just like that. Now let's take a look at the area around us. We've got a good amount of stone here. We've actually got some nice usable land here. Nice usable land here. We're kind of starting next to a small river, so we're probably not going to want to fish that. The larger river is just down here. We have pretty good access to it right here. We might be able to start fishing it pretty quickly. Looks like we have a lake here. A little bit more usable land over here, not much. And plenty of mountains. Excellent. So just take a scan of the whole area. Looks like up here is nothing usable whatsoever. A little bit of usable land here. Continue down. Looks like we got a nice little strip of usable land. And then a whole bunch of mountains that we can't do anything about. That's a, that's a really tall mountain. Look at those deer on top of the mountain. Oh, clipping issues. <laughs> Look at them up here, that's pretty funny. Anyways, so that's south, and then we have another huge mountain here. Less usable land, a little bit of usable land there. More mountains. Hence they call it mountain, not valleys. So we start with a pretty good area. Looks like we start with a clearing. Not necessarily the best of things, but not that bad. So we're going to struggle with food and fuel to begin with. So the first thing I always like to set up is where my forester's hut's going to be. Definitely want to make it towards an area where it can create as much trees as possible, because we're definitely going to struggle for trees. So let's put it right there. We'll pause it. Along with that, we're going to need to get our gatherer's hut. This will be most of our food is in our gatherer's hut. I like to put it right across from the hunter's hut. Not the hunter's hut, sorry, the forester's hut. Forester's lodge, excuse me. And then I like to have my gatherer's hut right next to it. That way, where the trees are being produced, there should be food. So we got quite a bit of stone that we're going to need to remove. We might want to move down here immediately and start fishing. Fishing's also going to be a really good source of food for us. 
We definitely don't want to fish this little river. That's just not going to work at all. So let's assign some slash and burning. We know here is where everything's going to be, so let's first assign a stockpile. Put it right here. That should be big enough to start. First, we're going to need trees and stone to get things built. Trees being the most important, but we don't want to cut down all the trees that are in the forester's hut area, so we'll cut down those. And we'll get this stone here. Should be enough stone. We'll grab the trees up in this area as well. We're going to have to travel a little far, but once everything's here, the building process will be fast and easy. We'll go ahead and put this to times five to start. We'll use the storage cart for the first little bit, but it actually won't be able to hold as much as we want. So everyone's running off to gather up the resources. I better pause this as well. We're just going to build it. I just want to gather right now because that's the big thing. Getting everything gathered up and started. I believe we're going to heavily rely on the trade post here. We're going to need to import in goods that we can't make ourselves because there's not much to be made. We don't want to use any of our precious land space for a quarry. We can dig into the mountains, that's going to be fine. Because there's nothing else we're going to do with them anyway. So we'll slash and burn this area, we immediately want to start gathering and start planting trees so that we can get a better food source quickly. So we'll focus on that to start. We'll need four homes to start. If we put four foresters and four gatherers, we can have our four homes right here. But we'll also need a woodcutter, because fuel for the first winter will be very rare. So everyone's bringing it all in. We got ten stone. Prioritize getting some more stone in here. get that stone faster so that we can actually build. One thing I like to do is as soon as the gatherer's hut is made, I like to put a couple gatherers in it. So we'll go ahead and unclick that. Go ahead and get the resources moved over to it. I also like to designate roads early on for areas that are going to be highly traveled. So we know this area is highly traveled. And I put that stockpile right up next to it, so it's not bad. Not bad, not good, just kind of annoying. So we know we're going to have a fisher's hut down here, so we're probably going to put the barn kind of in a central location. Go ahead and get a couple workers started on that gatherer's hut. And I think we'll also slash and hack this stone here that out of the way. We want our foresters to be able to plant as many trees as possible, because for the first little bit we're going to be relying on wood. Once we get some mines going, we can actually start relying on coal for heating, but until then we need to get some wood coming up. We'll probably want to build a bridge across here fairly quickly, access to these other trees and stone, but we'll slash and burn everything we can on this little island first, and then we'll worry about getting across the water. Excellent. So we got that built. We'll go ahead and get the Forester's Lodge built. Looks like we do have deer here, so it might be good to actually get a gatherer's hut here as well. Not a gatherer's hut, sorry. A hunter's hut. Well, I'm saying everything wrong in this video, but that's okay. This is the first one, so I can only get better, right? been going here. we got everything going. Builders will get this set up. Let's prioritize getting this stone in. I want to get this out of the way so that we can actually get our barn set up. So, so I'm going to disable cutting and I'm going to put one forester in here to start planting. As soon as we get houses set up and settle in for the winter, we'll probably be able to put more in, but for now we'll just do that. 
Now, we definitely want to get our woodcutter set up here pretty quick. Woodcutter is going to be best right next to the stockpile. So we have an open area here, we'll go ahead and put them right here. No need to cut down more trees in our area where we're going to be getting food. So, we're hitting summertime, we need to start thinking about getting our houses set up. Without our houses, we we're going to be screwed during the summer. During the winter, not the summer. Also designate a couple more roads here, faster travel through this area. I'm thinking we might put our houses over on this side just because we already have open area. Might as well, you know. Go ahead and start designating some of these houses. We'll just start with the wood houses for now because we don't have anything better. Looks like our cart might get in the way. One, two here. We're going to need to get a storage barn set up here pretty quick. We're already 72% full, but as we build houses, actually, we'll take all that stuff and put it in the houses instead. So the forester's saying, I've got too many logs already. But they're not for long. Let's see how well our gatherer's been doing. Alright, quite a few. About 500, a little over 500 food here. That's good. Essential to survive the winter. Ahead and put our other two houses just right here. Close knit society. You got to have everyone have a home and then they'll stuff everything in there from the storage cart. Might just put the gas. Might just go ahead and put the barn right here where the hut is, that's why it's a nice central location. But we'll see. Let's add some more roads along the houses. Faster travel. Faster travel's always good. I think that's enough room. Might not be. Let's check. Nope. It's not going to be big enough. So, we'll just leave the cart there for now. And grow trees there. So, down to eight people with no houses, but they're building away. Oh, my workers are just not doing anything. Let's get them working. Gather this iron. Preparation for needing tools. Let's put another forester on planting duty. And let's get another couple gatherers on gathering duties. We've got a couple people become adults. It's late summer. Oh, it's autumn now. Oh yes. Fire cutter, of course. How can I forget a fire cutter? We need a fire cutter. A wood cutter. And let's build a road here, because I'm sure he lives back here. That way he can get to and from work really quickly. And we have the basis of our civilization going on here. We should, with this, survive the winter. We'll have enough food. Looks like my workers already finished that. I'm going to start designating them a little bit more. Let's gather this stone here. This stone here. That way our forester can plant everything he needs to plant. And we can get all the food we need. Let's kick up the speed a little bit, get this done a little faster. No longer needing for firewood. Firewood guy is here. We're going to put our fuel limit down to 100, though. So don't want to use all of our logs on firewood when we only have four houses. These guys are cleaning this area up pretty nicely. we got quite a little bit of deer here. I guess they don't have very many places to go anyway, so... They're going to hang out around us. We might as well build a hunter's hut for that. But we will wait until next year to do that. We need to survive the first winter, and it looks like we're set up good to do that. You see he's already got a hundred firewood set up, so our houses are good. We're getting babies born. We could stand to build more houses if we want a bigger population, but we don't really want a bigger population yet. We want to get things established first. 
So I think a fisher's hut down here, uh, along the river, and a storage barn kind of in between those is going to be our next step. You can see everyone just put their firewood in their houses, so we went from 100 to 12 firewood in just a couple seconds. It's always real fast. So let's... Preparation of tools. Let's finish collecting the rest of this iron. Get this stone as well, because we're going to need it for building. And we'll stand our laborers to get all that stone as well. Looks like the trees are being put in good. And yeah, we're definitely going to want a hunter's hut around here. We got quite a bit of deer just hanging out in this area, which is nice for us. Definitely use that deer. Need to get to 50 population and maintain that for 20 years. We're sitting at 17 population currently. Alright, we hit early spring. We're gonna finish gathering up these things. Tools, we're already down to four tools, so we're definitely gonna want to get more tools. So here is the outer limits of where it's going to be planting. We're going to put a fisher's hut down here. So let's take the time, pause it real quick, set up our next expansion. First, we're going to need food, fish. Try to get this in an area where it has as much of its circle in the water. I believe it's, it just works better that way. So we'll have the fish there. We need to establish where our storage barn location is going to be. We want it kind of in the center here to where all the food gets brought to the center. That way we can get rid of this little storage cart, have everything centralized. It's going to be important to have it all centralized since we're not all in the same area. With the Fisher's Hut, we're going to be able to afford four people working the Fisher's Hut. Put their houses right next to the Fisher's Hut. Oh, something's in the way. What was that? Might have just tried to place it on top of the other one accidentally. And then of course we'll need roads. If we get to the point where we have extra, we will go ahead and make these stone roads. But until then, we're going to need I think they're going to path this way. We'll wait on that road until we figure out how they're going to path back and forth between that. And then we're also going to need a blacksmith. Blacksmith, he won't have to work very far. Like, he's going to be walking a little bit to start until we actually get up and running. But a blacksmith is essential right here so as soon as he's done with his tools he can put them in the barn and everyone can come to the barn for tools. We're already down to four tools and that's going to disappear fast. A lot faster than we think. So we're at, what, 70 wood? So we're going to need to chop down more wood. We'll go ahead and designate a stockpile over here as well. You can have too many stockpiles but at the beginning, especially when you're growing, it's kind of hard to have too many. So we'll designate that out as a stockpile. These people are going to gather up the rest of this. And then I'm going to have them slash and burn this area. Just gather it all right here. Gather it all from here. This right here reaches out to here, so we'll also have them um, slash that area down. So our trees are growing nicely. I don't want to cut any of these trees down. I want this to be my major gatherer area. I might designate another woodcutter over here that's going to be cutting wood. Alright, now we have this all set up. Let's pause everything and only build when we want to start. And really what I want is to gather everything up first before. You can see our food's down to 16 already, so we're going to need to get this Fisher's Hut up and running really quickly. So let's go ahead and go again. 
I'm okay with gathering this stone up first because we are going to use it and we're not in a crisis for food yet. Because the food is going up. Every season, everyone has to eat. And so they gather all the food and put it in their houses. So our stored food doesn't look very good, but our actual food is fine. So now we've got everything established. I'm going to take a break here and we will establish our fishing community and blacksmith next time. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in a little bit.